ऑल्सो दिस इज माई वेरी पर्सनल टिप नमस्ते दर्शकों मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में आपका हार्दिक स्वागत है Hi welcome to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today we are going to talk about a very overwhelming topic but my tips and tricks is going to make your whole journey of finding an internship a cake walk definitely going to lessen your challenges so without any further ado let's get started with today's video take out your notebook you need to take notes let me introduce myself first i came to united states in 2021 to pursue my masters in information technology management from University of Texas at Dallas my university has a requirement of completing 18 credit hours before you start your internship i took three courses each semester which made me eligible for summer internship in 2022 i bagged four internships all in cyber security domain from ups Qualcomm, Merck and the New York Times. The opportunity with the New York Times appealed me the most because of the area I am interning in. It was application security. I liked the field and got my internship extended for an entire year. So with this authority, I am going to give all my tips and tricks and the things that I have learned from my own challenges and my peers. I am going to wrap all of it in today's video. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel before we get started with it. So first of all, I'm going to answer the most important question when we should start applying for internships if we are aiming for summer 2024. If you are aiming for spring 2024, then now is the time. Cannot wait any longer. But This question comes in all the time for summer internship because students just start their school here in the United States and it is so difficult to even imagine going through an interview for internship for next summer 2024 I know it but here is the truth if you are aiming for companies like Mang or the big fours companies like that then now is the time it's the bitter truth but is this time your only chance to get the internship no i personally started applying for internship rigorously from november of 2021 so yeah i missed the chance of applying to these companies as mang and big fours however being said as per my experience i saw a few openings for from amazon when i started applying in november however i never received any interview call so i just believe that uh, most of their intakes were already booked by the time i started applying so keep that in mind let's come to our next question which all portal one should use to apply internship honestly everywhere you can i focused on linkedin indeed and my university's portal which is handshake I got Qualcomm, UPS and Merck from LinkedIn and the New York Times from Handshake. So that was my experience. You should be applying everywhere. Now let's talk about the next important thing in your internship search which is your resume. People reach out to me so often for reviewing their resumes and to be honest it is your first impression and that decides your future in that organization you need to be very mindful of what you are putting in your resume try to keep your resume from 1 to 2 pages i had 6 years of experience before coming here so my resume was 2ish pages if you do not have any experience stick to one page if you have not made up your mind for one role you are applying for then i would suggest have at least 2 to 3 resume as in if you are applying for data analyst job have resume for data analyst roles if you are applying for business analyst have a resume which talks about all the qualities which will be important for you as a business analyst similarly if, if you are applying for product manager role have a different resume for it there might be some overlapping skills which you can use in all the three resumes but do keep in mind on mentioning words which are important in those areas so if you have this question what all keywords i should be adding in these resumes then you should be reading all the job descriptions it gives you a brief idea of what the industry is searching for try to imbibe those keywords in your resume 
which can be related to your experience so that you can talk about it if your resume is picked up and you get the call now to the third point the other very important thing is whenever you are writing about your experience try to use sentences which shows impact as in if you have automated a process which reduce the cost mention some lines like you reduced cost by 30% something like that when you use figures like this it clarifies the impact you are making so do remember to mention figures this is the most important tip maine ye kisi se nahi suna hai ye mera original hai and it worked wonders for me that is why i am sharing with you and it will work for you forever not only for internship even for switching jobs so पहले एक ऐसा बंदा फाइंड आउट करो जो रिसेंटली जॉब स्विच करा हो या इंटर्नशिप में गया हो हु हैज अ सिमिलर बैकग्राउंड एज यू जैसे कि इफ यू हैव डन बैचलर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस देन केम टू परस्यू योर मास्टर्स डायरेक्टली देन यू शुड बी सर्चिंग फॉर पीपल ऑफ सिमिलर एक्सपीरियंस सी अगर उसने कोई कोर्स लिया हो बैचलर्स में जो आपके कोर्स के साथ मैच करता हो एंड यू हैव सिमिलर एक्सपीरियंस Now focus on the words that person has used. Use the same structure of words. Put your experience in those words and then use it in your resume. Agar same word ke saath us bande ka resume pick ho sakta hai, to aapka bhi ho sakta hai. I have used it and it worked for me every time. Try it and let me know how do you find it. Let's jump into our next topic which is preparing for interview. I know it is so intimidating. क्या क्या पढ़ूँ क्या ना पढ़ूँ बट यू नो वर्ड इट्स सो ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इंटरव्यू में क्या पूछा जाएगा सो योर इंटरव्यू पोर्शन इज योर रेज्यू में एंड योर जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन दैट्स ऑल ऑल्सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर इंटर्नशिप इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द बेसिक्स एंड ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ बिहेवियर क्वेश्चन because it is a good part of your interview all the interviews that i have given there were at least 2 to 3 behavioral questions even you are asked about behavioral questions or questions where you have to answer explaining a scenario then don't forget to use the star method which is describing the specific situation the task you have been given the action you have taken and the result of the situation structure all your answers in that pattern it gives a very clear idea to your interviewer that what you are talking about and whether you have received the result set that he is looking for so think of all the behavioral questions and make answers and refer it every time you receive a call that is all now i'm going to talk about a few more random tips first is if you get a job in your first semester don't stop looking for internships have at least two offers what if one of them cancels the offer so always have at least two options in your hand companies do it all the time trust me i have seen my peers go through it so it's better to look for opportunity rather than you know suffering at the end it's so painful second is summer internship is not the only time when internships are offered if by chance you do not get any summer internship keep applying you might find internship in the fall i know a lot of peers who were at it it without even stopping a bit and they found internship in the fall so never ever give up third is very very important for all the international students there is a place in your application form which says whether you need sponsorship don't take in you do not need sponsorship for your internship don't check it in in your form my entire november month i have checked it in every time and i used to get an automated rejection don't fill that at least receive a call in the interview or while talking to the hr you can inform them that you would need sponsorship if they are not sponsoring they will tell you that time itself and you can stop the process then and there but there are a lot of companies which are okay to apply for sponsorship and the last bonus point is start reaching out to people hrs who are working in the same company in which you have applied or you are seeing that they have vacancies for internship or job or whatever start reaching out to them on linkedin be respectful be mindful to the fact that they are not obliged to answer you 
if they answer by any chance try to be respectful and do not force them it would be great if you get an internship offer from them if not at least you are building a connection which can be useful to you in the future so don't forget that keep doing what you are doing trust me you are going to make it thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends i hope you find all my tips and tricks very useful if you are at linkedin and instagram i am going to put links to both my social handles in the description box don't forget to follow me in each of those platforms and i'll see you next week with a fun video bye